Side Hustle School is brought to you by Skillshare, offering a one-month free trial of unlimited access to over 17,000 classes. One thing I like about the classes is you can find something in just about any topic that you're interested in. I tried out a course on productivity as well as one on design, but there are probably at least a dozen that I was interested in. Go to Skillshare.com slash hustle to start your free month today. Hey, hey, what's up? Welcome back to Side Hustle School. My name is Chris Gillibo. You know, every day, a different story, someone who starts a side hustle, how they got the idea, what happened along the way, how much money they made from it, what went well, what did not go well. That's what it's all about. And yesterday, I told you that today's story is pretty good. So when I tell you it's good, you know, in this case, I don't mean that this is something you should necessarily go out and do yourself. I just mean it's fun and interesting to learn about. And it also highlights the fact that you can make money doing all sorts of crazy things. So today's story is about how a woman created a specialized product business in a very unusual industry with almost zero dollars in manufacturing costs. Now, I gave it away a bit in the headline, but you're not going to want to miss this story. Side Hustle School is brought to you by Skillshare. With over 3 million members and more than 17,000 classes, Skillshare is the Netflix for online learning. You can take classes in brand strategy, social media marketing, entrepreneurship, data analysis, and much more. Skillshare classes are taught by industry experts and experienced professionals, perfect if you're looking to build your career or start the side hustle of your dreams. Skillshare is giving listeners a one-month free trial of unlimited access to over 17,000 classes. Just go to Skillshare.com slash hustle to start your free month today. That's Skillshare.com slash hustle to get a one-month free trial of unlimited access. Have you ever had a beloved pet? maybe a dog or a cat. Well, personally, I'm more of a cat person. I have a cat named Libby who works the 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. night shift with me. Maybe I'll introduce you to her at some point. But more relevant to our story, Jill Bong from Colorado had a beloved pet, and it was named Speck the Chicken. Speck the Chicken greatly enriched the lives of Jill and her family until one sad day, as happens with all pets, Speck the Chicken went on a long walk. Well, let's just tell it like it is. Speck the chicken died from a molting injury, leaving the family in mourning. So just like fish and astrology and lots of other topics that you'll hear about on Side Hustle School, uh, I know very little about chickens. But apparently, a lot of domestic chicken deaths are caused by molting or mating injuries. And they can be completely prevented with a special kind of chicken saddle or vest that is worn by the chicken. Now, before we go any further, I should just assure you that this is, in fact, a true story. Today's not April Fool's Day. This is all leading to a real hustle that makes real money, and there really is such a thing called chicken saddles. In fact, if you Google it, you'll likely find Jill's side hustle at the top of the rankings. That side hustle is called Chicken Armor, chickenarmor.com, of course, and Jill developed her product after a year's worth of testing on her own flock of more than 80 chickens. The existing chicken saddles on the market all had a fatal flaw. They had to be laundered on a regular basis. So again, maybe you know more about chickens than I do, but from an outsider perspective, it sounds like a pretty awful task to have to take clothing items off 80 chickens and put them in the washing machine. Then do you have to dry them? Can you hang them up? Just like a dry clean situation. Nobody wants to do that. So because of the difficulty, most chicken owners just don't use saddles, which means that their hens are susceptible to the kinds of injuries that cause Speck the beloved chicken to become injured and die. Well, the mission statement of Chicken Armor is to solve this problem and to help chicken keepers save time and money with an innovative design that makes the saddles very low cost to produce. Using a vinyl material means they no longer have to launder the saddles. You just wipe them down or hose them clean, which, by the way, would probably make for a great YouTube compilation video. And the other innovation of Chicken Armor's saddle is that it has a no-sew design. Other saddles had to be hand-sewn, which obviously takes a lot of time. So this advancement allowed Jill to price her product much lower than all the other saddles on the market. Now, in fact, the costs for Jill's hustle are so low, they're nearly non-existent because all she pays for is the vinyl material, which is extremely cheap, and then the packing and shipping charges when someone places an order. Chicken Armor now brings in between $500 and $3,000 each month, depending on the season or if they've had any recent major media exposure. 
Since launching the hustle, Jill has sold saddles to proud chicken owners in all 50 states and to four continents around the world. She's been featured in the Denver Post and mentioned in the New York Times, the Associated Press, ABC News, and now, of course, Side Hustle School. I'm sure there's going to be a rush on chicken saddles right after this episode airs. Jill, I hope you stocked up. And if you think this sounds kind of funny, well, it is. But remember, she's meeting a need, and she's also making up to $3,000 each month. All right, so let's talk about what we can learn from this true story. Now, first, this is definitely a niche market. The great thing about a niche market is it's really obvious who's part of it, especially one like this. You don't have to do any sort of customer qualification. You never have to wonder, hey, who's interested in buying a chicken saddle? Obviously, it's only people who own chickens. So these kinds of markets are very specific, but they do exist. Second, there's also not a ton of competition. I just did a little quick peek to see who else is selling in this market. And there are some competitors. One is called MyPetChicken.com. Another one is Hensaver.com. But there's not a ton of them. And it's usually good to have at least someone else in the same market because that shows that people are already familiar with your concept. If you have to educate every one of your customers, that can be tough. And now lastly, it's also a market with a recurring need. Most people who keep chickens don't keep just one. They tend to have a whole flock or at least half a dozen. A single chicken saddle costs just $2.50 and Jill sells a hundred pack for $75. Remember, her costs are extremely low and she brings in at least $500 every month from this hustle up to $3,000 a month when she has media mentions. Perhaps like this one, we'll find out. Now, I often say that your story might be different from this one. Well, in this case, I'm almost sure that your story is going to be a little different from Jill's. Let's leave the chicken fashion industrial complex to her. But the lessons of identifying a need, creating a unique solution, they really are replicable, no matter what you're doing. So as we peck our way forward with the year, don't wait to experiment with your side hustle. Like Jill and Chicken Armor, you may just need to wing it until that first sale comes in. I'm Chris Gillibo, and this is Side Hustle School. 